Now I gotta ride or die So guys, welcome back to the channel. Very windy, slightly wet day, but we have just picked up the keys to this VW Caddy. Massive thank you to the owner, Jack. He's just cleaned it, so we are trying to get this before, um, yeah, the typical English weather comes in. Now, my question to you guys is, I've actually shot a long wheelbase one of these way back when, and I love the idea of owning a van, modifying it, and using it, yes, for its intended purpose of, you know, putting stuff in the back of it, but having a second row of seats and converting this or changing it maybe into something to rival an estate car, but with the ease, the size, and the availability of a van. This is a prime example of what I was talking about, where this has original front seats, but it has a converted rear. So it actually has three seats in the back of this. And that brings up the question, should you go out there and buy a, you know, relatively base van and modify it to a point where you see today, which this is a very nice example of a running and driving, good mileage, lowered wheels, nice interior. We will get onto that in a minute, but I'll start with a look round the outside. Now, I like the shape and the look of these caddies. I think they have aged pretty well as well. This is a 2005 variant of the short wheelbase caddy. You can actually get these uh, as a maxi, so a longer version, which is what we've previously had on the channel. Now, I'd like to think a lot of people out there have an imagination, so taking a completely base van and modifying it to a point where it looks cool and you and your family could enjoy it is what I'm trying to get at here. So, this is a pretty much complete example. You will see some nice aftermarket bits so like the wheels, nice painted calipers, color coded bumpers, because you can get these uncolor coded. And as we come down, I'll show you the driving portion of what it's actually like to drive this thing. If we jump inside on the way past, you will see the interior of a factory caddy with a GTI Mark V steering wheel, but plastics and stuff like I'm going to say in the driving portion plastics from a commercial vehicle so if you do have kids getting stuff in and out there's no fabric there's no uh, crazy exotic materials to destroy in one of these and I feel like the actual dashes in them seem to be a lot more harder wearing than car dashes they seem to be built or at least made of different material but tons of room in this one exactly like a Mark 5 Golf really but this is where it starts to change because as we come into this sliding door at the back you will see three very large seats now something that can be easily put into any van is the rear seat conversion and as you can see absolutely tons of room here something that i think a lot of families out there would appreciate but you can of course take these back out you can unbolt them you can fold them down and it becomes that massive van again with tons of room to get in and out you'll easily be able to get a child in and out of here with isofix seats and that's what i'm getting at the idea of having an estate car having a saloon car is great but if you had the drivability of a car the performance say because this has a stage one map it has good performance it has the looks of what i think is a pretty cool looking van and you have the practicality of something that is massive is big and you can get people in and out of it very easily you can get stuff in and out of the back very very easily and as you'll see we'll come around the back a lot of estate cars have come up and stuff but this one you will see this one has an absolutely massive boot still so there's still loads of space in here for pretty much anything that you could need to put in the vehicle and this one as you can see and as i will show in the driving portion how quiet it is in here it's actually been carpeted the whole way around so you know a factory van wouldn't have this but as you can see there has been loads of carpeted panels put on with the roof being the next carpeted thing that's going to be done but this is what i'm saying this was again a factory panel van but it has been converted into something to rival pretty much any estate car out there now looks wise as the wind comes in sorry about the wind everyone you will see on the back end an r32 rear style sort of the mark 5 r32 rear style bumper actually cut in with twin exhausts with a little bit of exhaust trickery there and as you can see the van is actually lowered as well so we've got lowering blocks on the back and we have coilovers on the front to adjust the front as needs be you also have these silver aftermarket wheels which i think set the van off really really well it looks good 
Let's just see how it drives though, because that will be the deciding factor as to whether you guys go out there and actually purchase something like this and maybe build one of these or buy one that's already done. But let's get in it, see what it's like. I've driven a few estate cars in my time. I've owned a few. Let's see what this is like in comparison to something like that. So the drive, what's it like to drive a modified Caddy? Now this is a short wheelbase variant. We have had a long wheelbase variant of the Caddy on the channel. This is why I wanted to get this one because it will have the same characteristics, but this one at 92,000 miles might feel a little bit different. It's a long time since I've driven anything VW and commercial in a sense. Now I say commercial really lightly because this is of course got a lot of modifications on it, mainly being from the interior, Mark 5 Golf GTI steering wheel, love a GTI, GTI fan, will always say that, so like that that's a modification you can put directly into these caddies. It also has the carpeted rear in it, so it has taken away a lot of the outside noise coming in, which is a shout. Do that if you want to have a nice van as a daily. Now this one of course has been converted, as you guys will be able to see, to have rear seats in it. That's an option, you can do that. You can go and buy one with uh, that in it as well, if needs be. That wouldn't be too much of a hard push to find. I feel like you'd be able to get one with the rear seat conversion pretty easily. This one though doesn't have rear windows. Now if you do want the rear windows, they are readily available, we can cut them in. If you're a professional and you wanna cut your van up, but they're not hard to do, you get templates and stuff if you want to buy the kits uh you know they vary uh but you're looking around three four hundred quid say uh for the right kit rubbers glass all that sort of good stuff but this one is a base van it's obviously been converted the only thing it's missing is the roof lining but i must admit it is super quiet in here like i can't hear wind noise i can't hear road noise from that rear end but of course it's got carpeted bottom top sides Especially at the front here, the back though, not so much. It is a lovely thing in it. It's a lovely place to be. And I think if you're in the market for a van and you want a nice one and you want to do a few bits to it, but you would like the rear seats of say a normal car, you couldn't go wrong with one of these. It's like an estate car, but with even more room. And I think price wise, you'll be in, you know, right on the money. If you want a high mileage X, British gas van, they are available and you can convert them, no problem whatsoever. The parts and second hand parts are readily available. But this one, pretty much already being done, you know, by a few things. Jack, their owner, is saying, you know, he absolutely loves it. Throw the kids in the back, he can drop the seats down when he wishes to, and, you know, have a fully sized van, bar the small space that the uh, rear seats have taken up. But the drive, though, it's pretty much identical to a Mark V Golf. Uh, I've owned a Mark V Golf in the past. Gearbox feels exactly the same. Gear knob is exactly the same. Dial's exactly the same. The mirrors are different though. That one's large and long. This one's a little bit more square shaped this side. So if you are coming from a car, you'll notice that. But the amount of uh, vision I actually have through those mirrors is really, really nice. Comfort wise, this is of course lowered as you guys will be able to see. It actually has coilovers on the front of it. Again, readily available. You can do that quite easily and blocks on the rear. Now I haven't actually come across too much uncomfort with how low this thing is. It's not crazy low, but it's a lot lower than, you know, the factory VW Caddy when it came out. One of the things to point out about having a van over a car is that the plastics and stuff in one of these are probably gonna be a little bit more durable. The actual door cards and all the way down are complete plastic. There's no actual fabric on the door cards. And again, on the center of the dash, there isn't any materials or anything, it's just plastic. So if you're actually after something that's a little bit more durable, maybe you've got kids, you wanna throw stuff in there and you're fussed about scratching maybe the inside, an estate or a saloon or even a hatchback, this might be the way to go for that. And it rides nicely. I feel like you'd be able to get a lot of weight in the back of this if needs to be to still be able to ride this nice and power this has actually been bumped up from the about 103 horsepower from the factory about 180 190 foot pound it's actually 260 foot pound so just under 260 and 160 brake horsepower big jump really for a van you will notice that jump 100 percent this one the torque figure is quite nice so it does torque right round and it reacts like a Golf does. It will react in the same way as a diesel Golf will try. I know it sounds silly, turning circle. Again, we are in a van. 
very very simple things we're trying to do here turning is absolutely lovely no scrubbing either from those uh larger wheels that are on the on the van do a little second gear pull <laughs> yeah that's quite sprightly actually for a van it's sprightly and that r32 rear twin exhaust which finishes the back of the van off in my opinion it sounds so good this has some missing exhaust let's say so third gear <laughs> yeah it sounds good it sounds good i just think if you're after a daily you don't want an estate car you don't want a normal car say you like your vans you want to modify a van this is the simplest and easiest way to get into one they're not loads of money and you can get a cheap one you can get a really cheap one if you want or you can get a really nice good mileage example like this one that's been cared for you can facelift the front of them to the newer version of the caddy again it's only going to be bumpers lights and wings you can do that easily enough there are second hand breakers readily available with front ends if you want to facelift it other than that though what a lovely thing it's durable it's got the size it's got the comfort it's got the looks it's got the price tag as well because i think these are easy to get into not loads of money but what do you think let me know in the comments below if you would have a modified van instead of an estate car a saloon car what would you go for but thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you on the next one